hello everyone welcome back to my channel easy tutorials and today in this video i will show you how you can use a full screen background video in your html website before starting this video i will request you to please subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one now let's start to make this web page with full screen background video here is my project folder and in this folder i have one video and one logo after that i'll create one file here that is index.html Now I'll create one more file here, style.css. Now I'll open my folder with my text editor, that is brackets editor. You can use any text editor. Now I'll write code in my HTML file. And in head I'll write title and the title will be full screen background video. After that, I'll link my CSS file with HTML file. Now I'll come to the body section. And here we'll create one section and the class name will be header. come to the CSS file and here we'll write margin 0 padding 0 after I'll put the class name here header and for this one I'll write height is equal to 100 vh and in this header section we'll add one video for that I'll use this video tag and I'll write autoplay loop and I'll set one class name also that is video dash background And after that, I'll put my video file here, that is video source. So here is my video file name, background-video.mp4. So I'll use this file here and after that, I'll write type video slash mp4. Now I'll open my web page with Google Chrome so you can see a full screen video here on this page. Now I'll copy this class name and come to the CSS file and I'll write position absolute right 0 bottom 0 min width 100% min height 100% width auto height auto z index minus 1 now you can see this video is full screen But for now this video is not responsive for all the uh, screen size. Before that I'll write one code here, background and I'll write one color here. This color will be displayed on this video as a overlay color. So now you can see a blue overlay color on this video. Now I'll make this video responsive for all the uh, screen size. For that I'll write this code min aspect ratio and it will be 16 is to 9 and the class name here and for this one I'll write width 100% height auto. Again I will copy this one and here I'll write max and width auto height 100%. Now again I'll refresh my web page and now I'll show you the different screen size so I'll resize my browser size so now you can see it is full screen for all the device size after making this video responsive here we'll add one logo for that i'm writing this code and the class name will be logo 
and I will copy this class name in CSS file and I will write margin 25 pixel height 40 pixel. Now I will refresh my web page and you can see a logo on this web page. After this logo, I will create one div here and the class name will be welcome message. And in this div, there will be one heading and I will write this heading in h1 tag video background now i'll refresh my web page and you can see this heading just below this logo so here i'll copy this class name welcome message and come to the css and i'll write position relative text align center font family color top now refresh this page and you can see this text in the center. After that, I'll copy this class name and I'll write h1 and the font size will be 80 pixel, font weight 100 and letter spacing 5 pixel, margin bottom. So now you can see this big text on this web page. After this title, we'll add two buttons here. For that, I am using anchor tag and the class name will be btn and the second class name btn subscribe and for second button btn dash comment. Now I'll refresh my page and you can see two link here just below this title. This is very small text. So I'll copy this class name btn and here I'll write in CSS file font size 18 pixel color margin padding text decoration border now you can see two buttons just below this title now we'll add some radius for this button. I'll write radius is equal to 25 pixel and again refresh this website so you can see a round button here. But there is no background color for this button. Now we'll add background color in the first button. So I'll copy the first button class name btn subscribe and write background after refresh this page you can see a background color in the first button now we'll add color in the second button when you will hover this button for that i'll copy the same code here just replace this class name and after that I'll write hover and transition 0.5 second. Now refresh this page and you can see a color when you will hover the second button. Now you can use a full screen background in your HTML website. If this video is helpful for you, please click on the like button and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos. Thank you so much for watching.